Now I already know y'all watching this video like, why he got this hat on? And to that I tell the viewer, I'm out here looking like the black Woody from Toy Story. I'm out here looking like the black, what's his name from Holes that I was talking about? I can fix that. I just wanted to give you Walker Texas Ranger realness and y'all just gonna have to deal. Yes! What's up guys, my name is Courtney and today is just another page out of my life. <laughs> I thought you knew what I was gonna say that time, huh? Today's video is actually going to be a vlog. I do this thing now where I vlog occasionally. So recently I went to Washington DC for Playlist Live DC and I'm gonna be just showing you guys what that experience was about. If you guys are new here, my name is Courtney. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you can be kept in the loop about all of these brand new videos being uploaded here on this channel. Now this trip for me was very important because whenever I have gone to a YouTube event, I always go with like a squad or a team. I've always gone with like my boyfriend and my roommate in the past, but this time the situation was completely different. I was going to be traveling and going from coast to coast, space goes coast to coast, from Los Angeles to Washington DC for Playlist Live DC. And it definitely was sort of a weird feeling. I'm so used to having that built-in support with me all the time. But what I came to discover was maybe I just needed to rely on myself for just once to see how much potential I fucking have. Okay. Girl, the trip started off with me almost missing my goddamn flight. I didn't sleep the night before, so I was a little delirious. I was just packing my shit up, throwing that shit in the bag and running my ass to the airport. I made it just in the nick of time, but when I got on the plane, I came to discover that my entire row was empty and it was just a good time. So I got my black ass right to DC to hang out with my homegirl, Felicia. If you guys don't know who Felicia is, make sure you head down in the description box below, follow her, subscribe to the queen of the South. She's one of the few bitches in the YouTube community that I actually trust and give a single solitary fuck about. So um, make sure you get into her. Hey guys, it's the first official day of Playlist Live, and me and my homegirl, Felicia, are ready to serve the children what they want, give us this hot meal. Is that my phone? That's your phone. That's my phone, girl. Okay, but we gonna finish this. <laughs> intro and run on over to the telly girl um we are here we are getting into this vacation fantasy that we are serving giving you pastel giving you snatching a lay fresh off the private flight after the mayweather versus mcgregor fight like just giving you everything that you want need we're in dc but i mean you can't really tell we kind of look like we're we look like hawaii. we're literally going to hawaii but meanwhile, that's fine. meanwhile <laughs> Meanwhile, the truth. Hi, sexy sisters. In case you missed it, me and Felicia have magically transported to the Lincoln Memorial. I had to get low, no Liam Payne, and give him a twerk for your life. Okay? If you can twerk in front of any monument you wanted, which monument would you choose? Let me know in the comment section below. How did you feel taking the picture? Let's thank Felicia for the iconic photograph. Well, first off, I just want to say this was the best meet and greet I have ever done. Okay. okay Abraham Lincoln meet greet. No lines. So said, it was really easy. He would do again. He let me do whatever I wanted. Me. He let me take as many pictures as I wanted. He didn't rush I me. I was not rushed. No security. Abe doesn't need security. Where was security? <laughs> Abe. You don't want it. Yeah. You don't want it. Yeah. Hey, you guys. We are up at Noodles and Company, and I just really need to show y'all something. Look how big this Rice Krispies treat is. I got a slice of that. What? What is this? It literally looks like a piece of cheese. It's literally two dollars. Two dollar rice crispy treats. This is our friend Kaylee. We love us some Kaylee. Go ahead and kill him, Kaylee. What a Kaylee kill, kill to the kill, kill, kill. The oodles of noodles. It's noodles, and we're with company. We're noodles, and we're with company. Noodles, and we're with company. And that's when you pick up your noodles. I literally look like Ace Ventura. <laughs> Something unique about this trip, besides the fact that I was traveling alone doing a lot of things on my own, bitch, was the fact that this trip wouldn't have been possible without a little company called WeSearch. Me and Felicia met them at VidCon, and it's definitely a cute beauty idea. WeSearch is helping beauty vloggers connect more with their audiences by, by having these vloggers upload the products that they talk about in videos and reviewing their textures and what their undertones and how good they work on their skin so that you can find a beauty vlogger that is close to your skin tone and find out which products are going to be good for you. 
which products are not going to be chalky and dried up on that skin, girl. So definitely a huge thanks to WeSearch for helping a homie out and getting me out to Washington, D.C. so that I could meet a whole bunch of you guys. Working with WeSearch, I made a brand new friend, and his name is Howard, and he is absolutely iconic, legendary. He is a shining star. He walks into a room and all eyes are on him. He is hilarious. He is comforting. He is... Well, hello there, sexy sisters. I'm here. I yeah, I thought the same thing when I, I just said that. I literally went around. I was like, where's Tyler? <laughs> I just wanted to introduce you guys to the motherfucking team. You're about to get your life. Hang on. Can I just introduce you guys to this young man that we are just like obsessed with? We are enamored with him and we just think that he's iconic and legendary. So just get your eyelashes together. Get into the jacket. <laughs> of course we have Shelby Waddell. Can we can we do an O O T D? Yes. And then you bring it back on up, and then let's get into Howard. Oh my God! He's giving me, everything. you're giving me, Wizard of Oz fantasy, yes. gorgeous, glamorous, smooth skin. Okay. This O O T Z. <laughs> yes, get into the footwear. Okay. Go. And. Right now, sexy sisters, we are actually gonna head downstairs and we're gonna spread the word about research because yeah. makeup should be diverse, makeup should be easy, and you wanna make sure you're getting your money's worth, girl. So we're gonna head down to the lobby and revolutionize my brand is shook, the beauty industry. So hang on to your lashes and make sure you grab that translucent powder, bitch, because we're about to go in. Boy, you look Sister sisters, this is now the 80th time that I've said sister sisters, so let's hope James Charles does not sue my ass. But we are here at Phyllis Live. We've got the RPD himself meeting the children. We've got Miss Waddell giving us space for your nerves. We are here with Howard and Felicia. Hello there, darling. And we have, of course, the icon themselves. We have Amy. Oh my god, young icon. How are you, Amy? Tired and hungry. Listen, I am tired. I need a nap of the cat variety. But I'm strong. Of the cat variety. Of the cat variety. I've eaten like half a bagel. Half a bagel? Look, hang on, hang on while I tell this story. Hang on, hang on. Can I just tell y'all something? I feel some type of way because we ordered room service and, you know, I can't do that. Listen, Felicia knows that room service will save you time. Listen, I mean, if we didn't get room service, we would have missed this panel. If we would have went somewhere, we always, like, forget stuff and then we will never wind it back here. So we went. And we got some room service, and Courtney wanted a pepperoni pizza. Sister, why did room service come up and come back with tomatoes and mozzarella? Wait, what? Sure did. Sure did. I called. They brought tomato mozzarella. Instead of pepperoni? Instead of pepperoni. Where was your pepperoni? How'd y'all mess that up? That's like not what I wanted. I didn't want that. So I called them back and they said, okay, we're going to comp your whole meal and we're going to bring you a new pizza. And I said, oh my God, perfect. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? So then I'm sitting there, the clock is tick, tick, tickety talking, and no pizza was coming. Me and Felicia was sitting with, Felicia had her whole meal, enjoyed her Pepsi. So I had to call them back and I said, sister, where is my pizza? I have somewhere to be, I wasn't trying to miss Ricky. They was like, oh, it's already on the way. Well, I was like, well, you're gonna have to cancel it because I told y'all I have somewhere to be. As soon as I hang out with them, they wanna knock on the door talking about pizza. Well, sometimes, it's, I was irked, but sometimes like Jojo, you know it's just too little, too late. So I accepted the pizza, and when I go back upstairs, I will be giving them another ring-a-ling-ling, and I will be saying, listen, you were a little late with this pizza, but I'm, well, fortunately for you, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to 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 give me another pizza so that I can enjoy my life. So. That was a little Tana Mojo for your nerves. You're still um, talking the same story. <laughs> I'm still telling the same story. Girl, I've had like five conversations. Oh my. About many others. It's great. <laughs> so that was a little Tana Mojo for your nerves. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. He's got everything. I'll watch him. Thank you. Watch him. I've got gas and gizmos aplenty. Aplenty. Oh, I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. Galore. You want thingamabobs? 
I've got 20. Yeah, Yo, I'm mad. Why is 6 p.m. in D.C. and we got these damn bells going on? <laughs> it's not even Sunday. It's not even the Lord's Day. Y'all know what's going on? I am very concerned right now because I just don't know what's happening. So I'm just gonna walk and fall. Hang around, you Courtney. You're making my stomach hurt. I have laughed too much today. <laughs> I just want to know. Oh my God. You're ringing bells like it's Sunday. Like, listen. What's going on? <laughs> DC, let, let me turn her around. Howard, not on. Bust your ass. Howard, about to fall down. Now, DC, I'm gonna need you to get it together because this is just a little bit too strange. Got me feeling like I'm living in a movie or a musical. Now, sisters, this ain't hairspray. I interrupted this vlog for a special message, a special moment that I wanna talk about. Definitely the climax of my Planet Live DC. Let me tell you about it. Sit your ass down, got some popcorn in. You know, let's have a Tana Mojo story time. Um, I was at a party at Playlist. I had had a couple drinks, which I, for me personally, I like to have because at these events, it's all about like networking and who you know and like, ooh, do you have a business card? And guys, I love people, but like networking is just like not something that I'm good at. But um, something that was an incredible moment that happened for me was I was at the party, I was with Felicia and we were kicking over near the bar and um, someone that I had just met recently, definitely a vlogger that is massive, extremely popular, hilarious, iconic, legendary, but completely down to earth. Him and I sort of like struck up a conversation we had met in the past, so we were just sort of just like catching up and quickly kicking. And then another friend of mine who's also a massive vlogger, icon, legendary, hero, they kind of came over and they were like, wait, you know Courtney? And then the other vlogger was like, wait, you know Courtney? and they were just kind of like we go way back he's hilarious and I was just kind of standing there like me you talk you, you, you talking to me and they sort of kiki and like compared notes about like how they think that I'm so funny and how I'm such a great vlogger and how I'm such a great like person to be around and like they were throwing all these compliments at me and I just like couldn't handle it until finally one of them was like, do you not know that you are fucking funny? Like, you are hilarious. Like, you deserve to, like, blow up and, like, do your own thing. And coming from someone that has accomplished so much and achieved so much, like, I hate to be annoying, but, like, it just meant a lot to feel like someone respected what I do because for so long I had someone telling me that like my work needed to be a certain way or I needed to be this kind of vlogger if I wanted to ever reach this kind of audience. And for me it was never about like the numbers. It's still not about the fucking numbers. It's always been about connecting with you guys and I think that those of y'all that know me and have met me and have been around four and five years um, before Courtney even moved to Los Angeles will know that it has always been about the fucking kids since day one. So to have my work be respected by someone that is doing the damn thing and to hear even more praise from a friend that had never really commented on my work as a vlogger was intense and gratifying and definitely the highlight of my fucking playlist. So I just wanted to tell that story to let you know that if you are working towards something, if you are working so fucking diligently and hard towards something that there are people that are watching and there are people that are going to uplift you and you're going to get to where you want to be. It might take your ass some time, but bitch, listen, slow and steady wins the race, bitch. You ain't gotta, you know, put a time limit on success, bitch. Hi, sister, sisters. We are at Playlist. It's our last day. I have a panel. I'm gonna teach you bitches how to market yourself. Are you ready, Felicia? I'm ready, sister. I'm ready too, because the bitch is about to be late. So let's wrap this the motherfucker on up and get down. I'll sit. Bye, have a good day. Thanks. Bye. Awesome, thank you. You have a great day. Yes. yes. Fun, yes, I will. <laughs> Me though. Me though. Ricky, this flag is iconic. We've all signed it. We signed this it. This is our friend Amy. This is our friend Amy. Hi. We love Amy. They're awesome. How are you? I'm good. Do you care where? Just anywhere? No. Okay. Cool. Lord, y'all, I have about 90 minutes to make my flight, and I have not packed a single solitary thing. Playlist Live was absolutely iconic, legendary. Um, I know I say that about most of the things, but like this has literally been like the best event I had been to in a really long time. 
all of my core friends were here and we just like fucked shit up and it was fucking fun and I hope that you saw the pictures I hope that you saw the tweets so that I could sort of like share the experience with you but um I think that's about it so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up and start removing my face and packing and um until next time guys I will be seeing you all right bye and that's my shoulder. That's my shoulder.